Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the next couple of days. So let's just see what comes up. Okay, so we have two. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. This card been coming up a lot. So, this door is closed. This opportunity is waiting for you to open that door. It's waiting for you. It's behind the door, okay? You have to go through that door. You have to make a choice. You have to open the door. The opportunity is waiting. It's waiting. It's waiting for you. Period of frustration. A lesson to be learned. Somebody's trying to force something. They're trying to push something. They're doing too much. It's too much. That's, it's not even practical. It's not realistic. It's like they're trying to make something happen that isn't supposed to happen, you know? And there's a need to slow down. There's a need to uh, go slow. Take your time. Think about it. Is what you're trying to force even feasible? It's too much. It's too much at one time. We have somebody here that's trying to do too much and it's causing a lot of frustrations. Okay? It's, it's, there's a need to take a step back. Maybe even start over. There's an opportunity waiting. Stop trying to force something to happen. It's just going to get clogged. It's not going to work out. It's going to be a big mess. Think about it. Think about it before you rush into something and, and make it, it a bigger mess than it needs to be. Anyhow. I wonder if somebody's in a hurry. And you know, that's why I said slow down. It's like in a hurry, I'm just going to throw it out there or throw it in there. And it's just like it's not going to work out. It's kind of like what I just heard was salty because that's salt shaker. And you know, it's that salty bullshit. I'm salty. I'm salty. You know how stupid that sounds? Doesn't it? What good does it do to be salty? Don't do a damn bit of good. Planning a move. This is moving boxes. Somebody is, is going to be moving. Somebody's planning a move. They're in a situation where it is definitely too much. And maybe, maybe it's like, I don't even want to, I don't care if it's too much, you know, because I feel like you can, you can take some of that out, you know, you can take some of that back, but I feel like we have somebody here that's just like, I don't care. Take the easy route. And the easy route is just messy. Oh, 
Oh, like I said, let's just take the easy route. Doesn't want commitment. There's somebody that does not want commitment. So there's a move that will be happening. Jackpot. So we have jackpot. Somebody is going to be learning a lesson. There's a period of frustration. We have somebody here that is moving on from something or someone or whatever it is that doesn't want commitment. Now, maybe we have somebody that has been committed to something that is too much. Okay, it's just too much. It's it's it is. It's a messy situation. There's another opportunity. There's an opportunity waiting behind a closed door that will bring. I don't know, money maybe, or prosperity, or something uh, that can make you really happy. It's kind of like when you win the jackpot, whether it's money, or it's love, or whatever it is, or it's a new job, whatever is behind that door, whatever the jackpot is, is a win. This is a win. This is, this is make you happy. It's like when you win that jackpot, you scream for joy, right? Yeah, you do. Packing up, packing up. Somebody's packing up, or they're gonna be. Somebody could be leaving a home, you know, because pack planning a move doesn't want commitment. Could have something to do with the job, home, relationship, or whatever it is. But behind that new door is an opportunity that could make you really happy strength card reversed so we have somebody here that's definitely frustrated um maybe angry upset maybe depressed there could be poor health this is forcefulness there's your forcefulness trying to control a situation trying to force something to happen Maybe we have somebody here that doesn't respect others that is, it's kind of like in their face, you know what I mean? Or very um, boastful, could be arrogant, pushy, forceful, controlling. There's a lack of patience here. There's impatience and there's, it feels like it's, I feel like it's angry energy. It's like, I feel like there's somebody here that is trying to push something too fast or they're they're in somebody's face or they're too too arrogant too me 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 I want to say me 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 There's a weakness this person is actually weak there there's a weakness here there's no patience there's a lack of discipline lack of inner strength a lack of willpower somebody's definitely upset they're trying to push make something work that is not going to work oh my god queen of wands reversed aries leo sagittarius could be a leo in particular just saying because of the strength card oh my god Queen of Swords reversed. Wow, two queens in reverse. Now, these two people could be collaborating together. They, If they are, they have malicious intent. There could be a lack of logic, overly sensitive, easily influenced by others, um, cruel, cruel, bitter, nasty. Um, whew. There's a lack of self-confidence, lack of, lack of, in, I mean, we may have somebody that's not even being logical. They're not using their mind. They're, they're, maybe they're angry. They're upset. They're depressed. They're looking for attention. Uh, blaming, 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 blaming somebody else. Not accepting any accountability whatsoever. This is me, 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 me energy for sure. Um, easily influenced, overly sensitive, angry, upset, frustrated, not being logical, unwilling to look at anything from another perspective, 
um, doing something very mean-spirited, acting on impulse, not being logical, blaming, not blaming, 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 blaming. There's definitely a struggle here. Somebody's trying to force something and they are extremely frustrated because I feel like they're not getting their way. They may be throwing a tantrum. They may be receiving poor advice from a friend or a family member. Um, being Doing something. It's like wicked. There could be an ex involved. There could be a mother-in-law, a stepmother, a co-worker, a friend. or somebody here There's and there's a collaboration between two people. They're both bitter. Both hateful, bitter, nasty individuals. Insincere. Something about criticizing as well, overly critical. Instigating, somebody's instigating somebody to do something impulsive. And there's out of control. There's there's a lack of self-control, a lack of, there is a lack of self-control, a lack of restraint. We have somebody here that is really struggling with uh, restraining themselves. They're in a, it's an energy of bitterness and revenge and spite and hate, unfortunately. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. This person um, has it all. Very stubborn. I, you know, look at the arms that are crossed. This person kind of looks angry as well. Look at all my things. Look at everything that I have. Look at all the trophies I have. This is somebody that is very arrogant by the looks of things. Stubborn as well. There's definitely a stubbornness here. It feels like there's a look at me, look at me, look at me energy. Look at me. Struggling, lack of inner strength, lack of discipline, wanting to have it all. Very stubborn. Hmm. Page of Swords Reverse. This is not good news. Underneath the Strength card, okay? This is this is somebody that butts their nose in where it shouldn't be. They don't have all the facts. They don't have all the information. Uh, this is somebody that could be could be a stalker, could be a spy, um, an enemy, an enemy in the camp, an enemy disguised as a friend. This could be a troublemaker. Definitely is an, an instigator or an initiator. This is somebody that is causing trouble. This is bad news, okay? This is somebody that may sit on a very high horse. It feels like they think that they know. This could be a know-it-all. It's like they think that they know it all, but they don't. They really don't have all the information. Um, weak information. There is weak information here. We got somebody here that wants to have it all. They want to have it all. They're doing something or saying something. They can't control themselves. There's anger here. There is anger. There could definitely be a conflict because we have somebody here that is wanting to be in control. This person, I feel like this person thinks that they know it all. Feels like there's a good, there's a, some sort of confrontation. There's definitely frustration. There's unwelcome news. Somebody may have received some news that has made them frustrated as well. We may also see somebody's behavior is being seen. Their character. Seven of Cups. So there's confusion. 
We have somebody here that is exploring their options. They have multiple options. They're confused. There's a level of indecision here. We have somebody here that needs to swallow their pride, honestly. They need to swallow their pride. They need to, they do. They need to, uh, I, I want to say change their stance, change their way of doing things. Don't try to force something to happen, especially a lesson needs to be learned, lesson to be learned. We have somebody here that's not learning. They're not learning. They want to prove something. That's the opportunity waiting for you. The Seven of, of Cups is another opportunity here. There's an opportunity waiting for you. Your choices determine your success, right? They determine your happiness. It's interesting. If, you, if you're in a situation that you're not committed to, it's time to move so that you can win, okay? If you're not committed or if some, you're dealing with somebody that's not committed, it's time to make the move so that you can have the jackpot. You know, so that you can have it all. But it starts with being honest with yourself and not blaming anybody for anything. Okay? The lack of accountability. It's like, I'm going to criticize them and I'm going to look at them and I'm going to point out all their flaws. And I'm going to focus on them instead of focusing on oneself. It's like you don't have no one to blame but yourself. But we do have somebody here that's overly sensitive and easily triggered, very easily triggered by facts, by the truth. And it's because they need constant attention. We have somebody here that is driven by lust, driven by desires, instant gratification. Very manipulative, very, very hasty. Probably lies all the time. Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed is typically a drop. Um, could be a physical or mental collapse. This could be somebody that is letting something go as well that they've been holding on to. Maybe they didn't see something. They've been confused, but they have been looking. Ten of Wands reverse is a release. Could be a release from obligation. Could be a, uh, could be a fall. It could be a drop. Um... There's unwelcome news here. We have somebody here that has reached a point. It's a breaking point. This is a breaking point. It is. It, this could be a mental breakdown. I don't know. This could be a mental breakdown. There, or we may have somebody that's making a decision to let something go because of somebody's forcefulness or their animosity or their hate or their bitterness or something like that. Like I said, I think I said it a couple days ago. I mean, who wants that? I mean, how... How, who wants to live in a situation with somebody who is constantly fighting? There's an opportunity waiting for you that can make you very, very, very happy. And you're going through a period of frustration right now. There's a lesson that needs to be learned about letting go of what no longer serves you. You know... Beware of false beginnings. And maybe somebody got, they chose something and they're starting to realize it. They're starting to realize that this is, this is not what I want. On the road to balance, making a conscious change. We do have somebody here that is making a decision and either if they're not then the universe is there is some sort of drop okay somebody could be being dropped or being let go or they've reached the end of the road there is unwelcome news here though maybe somebody's received a message that 
forces them to let go. Knight of Swords Reverse. The Knight of Swords Reverse, a quick exit. Now this is obnoxious energy. This is forceful energy. This is someone who does not care who they hurt. This is a bully. This is an intimidator. This is somebody that is on the defensive. And this is somebody that blames everybody but themselves. This is a blamer. This is somebody that blames other people. Accepts no accountability whatsoever and does not care who they hurt. Somebody is leaving very, very fast a situation that they were maybe trying to make it work. They were trying to make it work, but there's so much. Ah, I feel like there's a pettiness here. It's like dealing with a child. Get out. <laughs> um, and again, there's a need to slow down. There's a need to slow down. There is. Choose wisely. What you own owns you. Your choices shape your reality. People don't understand it, though. They do not. There's a lesson to be learned about rushing and hurrying and forcing. Somebody is going to be learning a lesson. There's unwelcome news. There's mild conflict here. Messages coming that you may not want to hear. It may have already. I feel like it's already arrived, that message. Somebody has received a message and now they're letting go. It's like, I want something more. I want something more. Somebody's been exploring their options. And it feels like it's. it feels like there's crying. If it's not crying, it's more like angry. It's angry. It's boastful. It's hateful. It's bitter. It's revengeful. It's mean. It's cruel. And there, I don't know if there's like a conspiracy here, you know. Six of Cups reverse. This is nothing stays the same. This could literally be packing up and leaving home. There could be a robbing of innocence. This is selective memory. Um, clinging to the past. romanticizing the past, maybe how it used to be. Somebody may want, have been wanting to control something from the past as well. And somebody may also be letting something that happened in the past control them. Letting go of the past, letting go of the past, letting go of something. There's no reunion. Uh, get out, get out. <laughs> something about get out. Um, making a choice. Choosing to leave. There's anger here. And there is anger. This is out of control. Obnoxious. There's somebody here that is... Uh, ignorant, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But this is somebody that... I mean, trying to force something, yeah, there's a lesson to be learned. There's a need to slow down. There's a need to think about things. There's a need to uh, let go of things that are holding you back. Make another choice. There's consequences here. You know, there is. Make another choice. You, you choose your luck, honestly, or you choose your life. Planning a move doesn't want commitment. It feels like there's an argument here and that causes, you know, a break of some sort. This is it. This is it. This is the end of the road. Whatever it is. 
I feel like somebody has been exploring their options, maybe with someone from their past, and maybe that's what the message is about. Maybe the message comes out or the message gets seen, you know, or somebody is making a choice. They've been thinking about going back or moving forward. A choice is definitely being made. There's a weakness here, and there's difficulty in communication as well. I feel like we have somebody here that is struggling to communicate Maybe because of their ego or because of their pride or they're struggling to accept accountability. There is somebody here that is really struggling mentally. Now the emperor is masculine that takes charge. This is a protector, boss, judge, father, ruler, king. In a position of power, in a position of authority. This is tip this looks like an older man to me. Okay. This is a masculine energy. This is somebody that is making a decision that is best for everyone involved. Everybody. Everybody. This decision is based on facts, not emotion. Okay, I got to do what I got to do that's best for everybody involved. Um, this is taking charge and making a decision that has to do with long-term security, long-term stability, security, security. Now, this is the boss, the president, the leader, the judge, whoever it is. This is somebody that is taking action. This is probably, it could be disruptive action. It, this action, you know, this may have something to do with a war. It could have something to do, it could have something to do with a war, a battle. Okay, but this battle is, it, there's something definitely has to do with some sort of battle. There is battling here. There's... There could have something to do with somebody that's innocent as well. It may have something to do with children. Now, this is somebody that is battle ready. The emperor is battle ready, ready to fight. There's been some sort of delay. Um, somebody's been going back and forth. And I don't need the two of pentacles with a decision. They've been confused. A decision. We do have a quick exit. We do have a quick exit quick departure, sudden departure. We have somebody here that has been extremely ignorant, <laughs> obnoxious, out of control, whatever that means to you. I also feel there's there's two women that have been bickering or causing problems or somebody may have been, it's kind of like that friend or that mother or maybe even co-worker, I don't know, or it's a mother and and or it's a child and stepmother. It, it's, you know, it's when somebody gives somebody poor advice and it brings about a big old nightmare. That's exactly what, the, that's what just came out of my mouth. Pure stupidity. Anyhow, Four of Cups reverse, seizing a new opportunity that was not taken, okay? This is your new door opening. Uh, um, an emperor, a masculine, is making a decision. And this does have to do with happiness. It does. This is taking an opportunity that was missed or maybe they didn't see it in the past. They didn't see it. They didn't want it. They weren't ready or something like that. I do believe that we have somebody here that is making a decision that they they neglected to make the decision. Maybe they were weak. They were in their ego or they were holding on to something that felt secure or uh, they didn't want commitment or who knows what the story really is, right? A masculine is taking charge. This is a, this is a protector. This is somebody that, I don't know, maybe has something to do with children. We got the six of cups in reverse right next to it. And there's something about innocence as well. And there's obnoxious behavior here. There's been illusion. There's been confusion. But a decision is being made. Uh, this decision will bring structure, stability, security, maybe protection. Good luck.